Okay, you've made it through the first part of the seminar. Let's start part B, and that's using reference images. Now, so far, we've just been kind of free drawing, but you really need to bring reference Im images into Blender. Blender has a nice background image uh, ability, and so we're going to bring images in. Of course, I'd like you to go ahead and download Jing. It's just a wonderful piece of software. The links are given in the reference section. It's a product by TechSmith, www.techsmith.com. I use it often and it's free and not only can you do images, you can also grab videos and upload those videos to the web and YouTube as well. Uh, then we're going to show you how to split screen uh, and to bring in the uh, two panels and work with a front and top view. We're going to show you uh, a heart video from NucleusSync and then create veins and combine those veins to go onto the top of the heart. So let's get started and I want to show you how it used to be done or how it's typically done when it comes to drawing complex surfaces like this in Blender. So this is the way it is typically done in Blender. You'll have a two images, uh, background images. Uh, one will be, for example, a front and then a side. And here we have the front image of the heart and then the side image of the heart. And so you're modeling the front image, moving the grid around, and watching the side image and moving that grid around and getting both to match up. And it takes a lot of talent to do this. It's a very uh, long process. And we want to accelerate the process and how long it takes to do this. Uh, we are not artists. We're uh, academics. But we want to take some shortcuts that we can do in a sense to speed up the process. And the way we're going to do that is basically deal with a, uh, a, f a side image or front image and put in a transverse up-down image that we're going to get from body slices. And we're going to slice his heart. So, and and basically mold it from uh, from the transfer slices. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to open up Blender, going to make two panels, and we're going to bring some reference images and start building our veins. Okay, we're going to go now and download our reference images. So let's go to the uh, reference section. And uh, first thing we want to do is get Jing. So if you come along here to uh, the reference section and look for the link to Jing, and just click uh, Jing Project. I'll take you TechSmith, and it's very easy. They have a both a Windows and Mac version, so for you Mac u users, you're not left out. Just click your version and follow the uh, instructions and download Jing. And when you get downloaded, you're going to get a little ball at the top of your screen that's going to allow you to click and grab images. We'll show you that in a moment. Now Jing is free, and once you download it, you'll have to apply for an... Uh, subscription to screencast and you can basically dump tons of gigabytes of data uh, video data up to the web and image data up to the web to share with other people you'll get a URL to send to other people or you can dump it to your hard drive and use it there also there's a Jing Pro which is fourteen dollars a year which allows you to do uh, mp4s and that I upload to YouTube so uh, I'm already a member so I'm gonna log in and once I'm logged in I can start and you'll see at the top of your screen there is a little yellow ball and if you click that yellow ball then you can actually grab images. So let's go ahead and grab one of our medical images. So going back to the blog. So I'm back in the references section I want to take a look at the animated heart so let's click on that link and that's the animated heart right there and it is fairly complex I mean this is not something that was drawn overnight this literally took months and months to draw and I like that front Im image. I'm going to use it as my front image in my animation. So I'm going to go to my Jing. I'm going to grab that. little ball pops out. And I'm just going to highlight the portion of the heart that I want to use. Okay. So all I have to do is save it. Below there's some save keys. I'll save the Jing. And once I hit save, I have the ability basically as an image edit to do quite a bit of things here. I can actually come along here and draw boxes if I want to. Or I can put arrows on it if I want to. Or I can put text in it if I want to. You know, just tons of stuff you can type in there. We're not going to do that right now. We're actually going to just grab the image. So let's undo here. And we're just going to save this. Okay, now I want to take a look at those medical slices. So let's go to the um, uh, UMIC site. Okay, we're on the University of Michigan site. And there we see a frozen female sliced into tiny pieces. Yes, she was uh, frozen cryogenically and now sliced up into a million pieces. And you basically can slide along here and look at different parts of her body. Uh, you can transverse her uh, whole system. So we're actually interested in her heart. So we're going to go up here and take a look at her heart. 
and looking for some great p p pictures. So you can actually go to high resolution if you want to and get those high res images. We're going to fetch that image right there. One moment. And there's a real nice image of her heart. So we'll come along, we'll take Jing, and we'll just grab that image. And Jing will pop up. And you, once again, you have this menu where you can decide do you want to capture an image or a video. I want to go for image. And then once that is done, I have the opportunity to annotate the image if I want to or just save it to my hard drive. And I've already done that. Those are prepared in your uh, resource files. I just want to show you the process. Now let's go back to Blender and build those image references so we can do a great job of drawing a heart. Well, I guess to kind of add to the gore of it all, we actually made an animation of transversing this woman's heart over and over again. This is a flash animation that we're just running at, uh, I guess, uh, uh, 30 frames a second or something like that. And then we're just transversing the heart. And we're actually going to uh, take a few slides here and throw this in our reference material. You know, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, what a benefit to, to medical kind to have something like this, a tool where you can actually see someone's body. Uh, you really wonder what the history of this person was, you know, uh, what kind of life they lived, who they were. Uh, I guess if I had a choice between being a cadaver and being sliced into many pieces, I'd prefer to be sliced into many pieces as this person was. But you know what? Uh, as gory as this might seem, I'd rather have someone work on a cadaver before they work on me. So uh, we're fortunate that we have such a great medical community.